Now, I don't know how much coverage this is going to get because obviously this is not happening in America. This happened at a Nigerian church overseas in Nigeria. But I wanted to discuss this. I want to talk about this because this is one of those wild and crazy, um, hateful moments that we see across the world, across the country. So terrorists massacre 50 plus Christians in violent satanic attack on Nigerian church. So um, I mean, to zoom that out. But anyways. Uh, terrorists massacred dozens of Christian co- churchgoers in Nigeria on Sunday, prompting a l- top leader in the country to promise that every resource at the country's disposal would be used to track down those responsible and bring them to justice. Could you imagine you going into church, you going to praise, you going to worship God, and you got to worry about some fucking lunatics putting bombs at your uh, at your church? They got they they. Let me just read this. The terrorists rode up on motorcycles and began shooting those who showed up at church uh, at the St. Francis Catholic Church in the town of Owal. Explosives were also reportedly used. So people are just coming to church, mind their goddamn business. And you got the evilness, you got the satanic devil, whatever you got in you to gun them down. I don't understand that logic. I feel like a lot of people should be like me. Live your life. Do what the fuck you want to do. We could agree. We could disagree, but we could do it civilly. But the way people praise God or worship God, when you break down religion, all that shit really the fuck is ain't. Y'all have the one high power. Y'all got God. Y'all got a couple little people in between. Hey, we believe in Jesus. Or we believe in Muhammad. Or we believe in this. Or we believe in that. But at the end of the day, y'all are pretty much praising the same God in the sky. So a doctor at a hospital of Alwal told Reuters that at least 50 bodies have been brought up in two hospitals in the town from the attack. Reuters reported the doctor who declined to be named because he is not authorized to speak to the press also said there was a need for blood donation to treat the injured. So it's not only 50 people were killed, multiple people were injured. Guns are strictly regulated in Nigeria. Citizens have no legal right to gun ownership and civilians are banned from owning handguns, military rifles or machine guns. AFP reported licenses can be obtained from the police for double barrel shotguns and hunting guns, but permission for this has been suspended because of the security situation. Seeing and know that such attacks are rare in the area, but are more common in northern parts of the country where Islamic terrorists who belong to Boko Haram carry out such attacks. Knife wielding Islamic terrorists belonging to ISIS executed 20 Christians in Nigeria last month. I didn't even hear about that. A knife wielding Islamic terrorist kill 20 Christians in Nigeria. Why do we give a fuck about people's religions? If you're allowed to go down the street, and I know this isn't every Muslim, every whatever, right? But if you're an Islamic terrorist and you go and kill Christians, bro, you got a mosque, I'm sure, right down the road. Now, those 20 Christians, I'm sure they're not because uh, the Islamic faith, the Muslim faith is, I would assume, very big in Africa. You're not being pushed out. They're not trying to change your culture. They're not trying to change you. They're not trying to colonize you and say, hey, you're a a Muslim. Hey, convert to Christianity by force. Bro, you got your shit down the road. We got our shit over here. So, uh, who is this? Is this the leader of of Owa? He said, I'm deeply saddened by the unprovoked attack and killing of innocent people of Owa worshiping at the St. Francis Catholic Church today. The violent satanic attack has calculated assault on the peace loving people of Owa Kingdom who have enjoyed relative peace over the years. So it's a black Sunday in Owa. Our hearts are heavy, he continued. Our peace and tranquility have been attacked by the enemies of the people. This is a personal loss, an attack on our dear state. Uh, I don't want to butcher his name, but Akradulu said that he has spoken with the Bishop of the Catholic De- uh, Diocese of Undo. Most revered Jude uh, Regande, and that the church official was on his way to the scene along with Ekarudilo, who had uh, cut short a work trip to return to the area. This is an unexpected development. I am shocked to say to least. Nevertheless, we shall commit every available resource to hunt down these assailants and make them pay. We shall never bow to the machinists of heartless elements and our resolves to rid our state of criminals. I urge our people to remain calm and vigilant. Do not take laws into your own hands. I've spoken to the heads of security agencies. I've equally been assured the security officers will be deployed to monitor and restore normalcy to the Owa kingdom. So that's just, like I said, I, 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 when I say that, I feel like there's a dark energy going on in the world. And there's these things that are going on, whether it's the Buffalo, whether it's the Uvalde, whether it's the mass shooting we see in Philadelphia, which really is just a shootout between uh, a group of people that spilled out into other people. We just see these murders after murders, robberies after robberies. It seems like the the, the whole world is just divulging into chaos. I don't know what that is. You know, I don't know what to make of that. Cause I don't have a brain of a terrorist. 
there's nobody or no one subset of group that I hate so much that like, hey, you know what? Let's load up and let's go kill these people for what they do or what they believe in. Now, if you're truly an oppressed person, like like this, if we found out that the Uyghurs took over the camp that they've been kept at for their retraining program in China or whatever they're doing, and you hear the Uyghurs take over and kill everybody, you won't feel bad because that's a true, actual revolution. That's something, hey, y'all had to fight for y'all's freedom for real. That's like the people in Haiti. We fighting for a revolution. That's different. But it's like, hey, I'm a Muslim. Uh, well, let me say this. I'm a radical Muslim. And I want to kill these Nigerians because they've turned to Christianity. And I hate Christianity. Maybe I think Christianity, I'm so hateful of because maybe I think Christianity is a Western idealism or whatever, whatever it is, whatever reason it is. I'm going to go massacre these innocent people. That I don't know, haven't caused me any harm, then you're an evil piece of shit. And I hope that whatever this minister or king or whatever he is of this nation, when y'all find these people, y'all annihilate these people. I'm not, I'm fine with that. Cut them, cut their heads off in front of the crowd. I don't care. I'm tired of seeing innocent people kill for other people's bullshit. I'm just tired of seeing innocent people robbed, attacked, anything. I'm just tired of seeing this shit. I'm tired of it. So whatever happens, and I don't know these people that they have on the picture. I don't know if that's the fucking people that did the killing and no shit like that. I don't know who the fuck they are. But I'm tired of seeing it. I don't care what you are, white, black, green. If you are, if you are killing, robbing, harming innocent people, go to hell. You get killed. I don't give a fuck no more because I'm tired of seeing this shit. So... Recipe to all these people, man, it's, that's some tragic shit. And I don't know if that's going to make the big news cycles, but I feel like although it's not in our country, that is something that should be talked about and we should look into, you know, we send the help to all these other places. We should be sending funds to these places because these are less fortunate places. I know it's black people. I know the American spirit really can't get behind that, but this is a very tragic situation. It's a very sad situation. People just trying to go to church, live their goddamn life, and they got to worry about being killed by uh, terrorists because they don't agree with whatever they got going on with their life. So, like I said, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Don't miss out any of the videos that I got coming out next. I'll see you guys in the next What do you friend? Peace.